This is Halcyon with another Burning Man tips and tricks video. Today I want to talk about consent. And honestly, it's a bummer that I even need to bring this up. But in a place like Black Rock City, where freedom and expression is so liberated, we have to take a second or two and make sure that we are not crossing any lines and we are not letting people around us cross lines. The key is consent. You have the ability and the right to radically self-express however you want, but if you're gonna bring other people into it, you need consent. And that works in every direction. Things that are wonderful when there's consent are horrible without consent. I might be dying from the heat and a squirt from your squirt gun could be exactly what I want. Or I could have just put on sunscreen and I don't want anything that you spray on me. It might be late in the day and you still are hot, but I'm starting to get cold and you spray me. I don't want that. So if you check in, your gift can be appreciated as a gift. If without consent, your gift can be an attack. There have been way too many instances of non-consensual acts upon another at Burning Man. Anything can be horrible without consent. Sex is awesome. Sex without consent, horrific. Drugs are awesome. Dosing someone with, without consent, horrific. When we get outside of the boundaries of the default world and we're dancing naked and expressing ourselves, sometimes we can lose our footing and our boundaries, but don't let yourself project your loose boundaries onto other people. Someone else who's naked doesn't mean that you're allowed to touch them. Doesn't mean that they're welcoming you into their expression of freedom. If they are ill-equipped to make consent, if someone is too intoxicated, the answer is no. The immediacy principle applies to consent as well. Consent only applies now. If I say, yeah, squirt me with a squirt gun today while it's super hot, that doesn't mean I want you squirting me when it's freezing cold at night. If I say, yeah, let's make out for a while now, that doesn't mean I want you tongue in my ear when I'm asleep. Always check in and get consent, whether it's a squirt gun blast, whether it's sharing a cocktail, or whether it's smooching. Super simple. And when we respect one another, and when we look out for one another, meaning if you see other people crossing the line or getting creepy or scheming that it wouldn't be funny if they put something in someone's drink, step in and defend the sacredness and the safety of our community. We're family. Don't do anything to another person without consent. Your wonderful gift can remain a wonderful gift if it is received with appreciation and consent. Your wonderful gift is a violent attack without consent. Just get consent. There, now that that's out of the way, let's get back to making our outfits and building our art and prepping for going home. I can't wait to see you in the desert. I love you.